Hi, folks. You know, we all enjoy being one with nature. Or going to our local national parks or state parks and seeing the beauty and the majesty of it all. But what happens when a flat earther decides to be obnoxious and try to push his views and agendas on all of us? Well, we're about to see what happens in today's video. A flat earther by the name of Witcha Gets It, I hope I'm pronouncing that right, decided to go to Mount Rushmore with a videographer and a PA system to annoy people while they're trying to enjoy a nice day. But before we get into today's video, I want to give a quick announcement that I will be using my Sovereign Citizen avatar. I normally use something specific to the videos. Karens get a Karen, frauders get frauditor, and well, seeing how I don't have a Flat Earther avatar, I'm just going to use the Sovereign Citizen one because, well, they're both bet bat-like insane levels of, well, insanity. So let's enjoy today's video. We've already been attacked by the, um, by the park police a couple times. We've also had a couple boomers already get triggered, but it's okay. It comes with the territory. You know, knowledge doesn't care about opinion. So we're just going to tell these guys what science is. That's what we're going to do. Well, he's fairly intelligent. Ah, he's full of shit. <laughs> In the world. Hey guys, hi lads, welcome to science class. I'm glad you guys came to learn about the Earth today. This is super exciting. Okay, so we were all told that we live on a spinning ball in a vacuum, and for years I've been my work testing this th hypothesis. Turns out it's actually not true. Okay, so we're gonna talk about a couple laws of physics here, and um, hopefully you guys will pass the pot quiz at the end. Yeah. So we've already had a couple people talk about how stupid I am, but we're just going to talk about science, okay? You want to talk about science? What science is that? The science that's been disproven that the Earth is not flat? Or the science that you've made up and pulled out of your own ass? Because it just seems like you want to try to ruin everyone's good time and enjoy a nice day at a national park and see a beautiful stone monument. So let's talk about the scientific method. The scientific method. Yeah. This is how you determine what's scientifically true. It's called the scientific method. Okay. You have a dependent variable. This is your naturally occurring observable phenomena. Yep. That means it naturally occurs in the world and you observe it. Okay. That's called your dependent variable. It's the effect. Now, in science, what you do is you propose a cause and effect relationship test. This is called a hypothesis. I wish I was hypothenuse to have to deal with you, but I have to be a responsible adult, unlike yourself. But let's get away from this insane ramblings of a madman and see his encounter with the park rangers, shall we? This is why the stupid little park rangers tried to shut us down before we got started. Right? Because you can't debate it. So I've been kicked off Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, PayPal, Venmo, and I don't even cuss. Do you guys support the government forcibly censoring your first speech, First Amendment, freedom of speech? Yay, welcome to Germany, where we have lockdowns and curfews. And we have people that... Uh, everything that guy just says bullshit. Thank you. Never sacrificed their life like my friends did and literally died, died for it, right? That will actually support us being censored, as they would never go die for it. It's crazy how that works. So anyway, the government censors this because you can prove it. We proved it. You can see the skyline of Chicago across Lake Michigan from 60 miles away. Based on the globe Earth math, it should have been completely blocked, but you could see the entire skyline of Chicago. How's that work on the globe? How's it work? Yeah, I think I made the right decision using the Sovereign Citizen Avatar here. Because from what I cut out, I'll pin the original link, which is a two hour long video. He went on this diatribe of false science and blaming the government and saying that the government lies and spouting off every bit of rhetoric that the Sovereign Citizen's like to use and 
if you do have friends who have fought and served and who have died, saying this kind of stuff is a dis is a dismemberment to them and their memory and the reasons why they fought. Shame on you, sir. Shame on you. How are you? What's up, man? How are you doing now? I'm doing good. All right. So we're just coming back. Yeah. I want to give you every opportunity. We have the permit paperwork if you'd like to apply for a permit. We have your regulations showing you that this is not an approved area. Would you like to move? No. Okay. All right. Well, so what's the, what's the yeah. decibel? So, well, no, I'm citing you for engaging in an activity. Well, let me see the law. You need to let do, you, do you know how the law works? So, Do you know how the law works? Because apparently you don't. And I'll explain why. Well, I Mount Rushmore has six designated spots that are free speech zones which allow people to assemble and use their First Amendment right of protest and gather without any repercussions or needing any permits. However, the area you are at <clears throat> is not a free speech zone, but right below you is. Hmm. If you would have just done your research and look at the map, you wouldn't be in this predicament now, would you? I'm going to need your ID. I don't have to give you my ID. Are you detaining me? Yeah. Yes, you are. Okay, for what? What suspicion of what crime? If you fail to identify yourself, you're going to be detained. Right, so you t And the business, we call this foreshadowing. To, to detain me, you have to... Uh, yeah, actually, I, to ID me, no, you have to no, detain no. me. I just have to cite you. No. So I'm citing you with 36 CFR 1.6... Which for, says what? For failing to engage or failing to get a permit... For an activity so can I see this? Can I see the ordinance? Yes. Yeah. Over here. No. So. <laughs> well, you guys are. Yeah, hey, I don't care if I'm outnumbered by brain dead zombies that go into house for curfews and lockdowns. Okay. Well, I'm asking. Yeah, insulting the park rangers and causing a scene is not the best way to fight your case. I would just simply take your take your ID out, give it to them, get your ticket and fight it in court. Instead, yelling and being rude and belligerent does not help anything. But then again, you are a sovereign citizen and a flat earther, so you have the IQ of a single cell organism. Is, do you have an idea? You go back in your house, it's past your curfew. Yeah. You are a douchebag. That's right, a douchebag. Have an idea? What's up? Do you have an ID? Am I being detained? Yes. yes. Okay, so suspicion of what crime? You are engaging in an activity that requires a permit. The Can I see the law yes. then? Let's go over here. And Why are you trying to move me away from my camera to cite it? Yeah. You're being really weird. Can you take your camera? Uh, no, you can just show it to me right now. Here, there's a whole bunch of information here. Don't touch me. <laughs> All right, look. Just so I have you guys together, you're good together, right? Come on over here. Right, you said if we stood right This is here, hilarious. Be fine. Yeah. yeah. Spoke, but then you got your speaker and you got your banner yeah. set up. Yeah. Now you guys support this, don't you? The First Amendment being infringed upon. So setting Welcome to the up. death of America. Yay! Let's all clap because our First Amendment's getting thrown away. You guys would have been real good at not. This is not the death of America. This is just your sovereign citizen bullcrap, which, by the way doesn't really work because if this was really them trying to silence your first amendment they wouldn't be trying to give you the information to get a to get you know a, a permit to do your little flat earth bull crap instead you chose one of the many non-sanctioned areas where you don't need a permit but just right below you in the amphitheater is a perfect spot where you could have set up with your banner and your camera and your bullhorn and done all of this. But no, you chose this spot for one reason. For one reason only. Because there will be people here on the observatory deck viewing the monument. And you can try to convert as many people to your falsehoods of no science, no merit, and lack of Germany. Probably would have been the part of the 98% that voted for Hitler. So, so um, to detain me, you have to articulate suspicion of crime. Yes, we, we've tried. Yeah. You keep interrupting. We offered you. So can I see it? Yeah. Uh, you haven't even cited it yet. You haven't cited the ordinance yet. Liar! 
36 what does it say? say? Specifically, read it. I'm not required. Yeah, you are. That? Yeah, you are. Negative. Negative talk. So Did you read the ordinance. Engaging, trying to engaging in an activity requiring a permit. Okay, so specifically, yeah. which part of what we're doing requires using the permit? Audio device. Okay, so audio, what's the decibel reading? Banner. You can't have it at all. So can I see banner. the law? Yes. yes. He's trying to explain this. I want to see the law. So what I'm going to need is your ID. Or I'm going to need you to give me your name and date of birth, state of your auto. So I need to know. see the law. Are you are you not yeah. listening? So what I'm going to do? Under 2.51 and 2.50, you if you're engaging in an activity that requires an audio device, device, you need to have a permit. Okay, let me read it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't have to ID yourself. You do Look have it. to ID yourself. No, you don't. Get ready, everybody. He's about to do something stupid. You're, you're going to be fired, buddy. You fail ID yourself. I was just at the White House doing this, by the way. You guys realize this is the death of our free speech. Yeah. Audio disturbances. Okay. Does it have a certain decibel? I'm out. <laughs> yeah, the guys are trying to intimidate us. That's why they won't show us the law. I read the law before I came here. Yeah, it says a certain decibel. I know that for a fact. Yeah, yes, so it does. If you had the permit. What we're going to do, I'm going to, if you fail to identify yourself, I'm going to arrest you for refusing to identify yourself. Wow. Number two. I'm going to confiscate all this as evidence. Yeah, that's called theft, big tough guy. Wrong, 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 wrong. Wrong, 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 wrong. You're wrong. You're wrong. You're wrong. So, uh, it's let me, let me tell you what the law says. No. So whenever you have to come give a warning yeah. as to someone making yeah, yeah. doing something illegal, yeah, and it to you. you have to cite the law and read yeah. what it says as yeah. what is prohibited. Engaging in activity requiring a permit. So what part of it requires the permit? Your audio device your audio and your device. banner. So can I read the law? Is that an unfounded yeah. request? I do not, I'm not required to print out and show you. You are, you are required to cite the ordinance and say. Shenanigans. I'm calling shenanigans here. He's told you what ordinance you've broken several times. He specifically told you why you are breaking it. Also, shenanigans on the fact that you believe that he's supposed to tell you the law. He's not required to. He's required to tell you why he is citing you, which he has. But yet, that's not good enough for you. And yes, he can seize all that stuff as evidence if you fail to ID. But it says, okay, then I'll just research. I'll okay. look it up. Say the ordinance again. Keep your hands out of your pockets for me. Say the ordinance again, buddy. Do you have any weapons on you? Say the ordinance again. 36 CFR 1.6. 36 CFR 1.6. No. This is hilarious. I have to do your job for you. No problem. So, sir, let me ask you, do you have any weapons on you? No. Sir, do you, do have, you have weapons on you? I do. do you yeah, you're really intimidating me. I'm, oh, man. Chill out, bro. You're going to cuff me for what? Sir, put your hands behind your back. For what? I'm going to take your phone. Put your hands behind your back. Are you kidding me? Nope. Ha! Got he! Got he! Wow. Put your hands behind your back. You're under arrest. I'm under arrest. You got to do this leave, man. It's, it's, this is public property, bro. You had a chance. I asked you just to show me the law, man. You keep interrupting. I asked, asked to see the law, dude. to you. You're gonna know what the law yeah. is when you get addressed to it in the court are you, law. Are you kidding me yeah. right now? No. Why can't I just? Do you know it's a? You know it's illegal no. to, to not tell me what the law says. And we've been trying. You keep interrupting. I've asked I'm, you 30 I'm, times. I'm, and I'm trying to explain 30. Okay. Times. Will you, will you, you tell me what the law says then? You need to stop. You need to stop. Will you tell me what the law says? You need to stop. You just. Need yes, officer. Thank you for dealing with this jack wagon of a soft sid and a frauditor. Our friend here, Mr. Witsit and his videographer were both cited for violating 36 CFR 1.6. The speaker and the banner was taken and seized as evidence after the videographer ID'd himself. He was released as well as Mr. Witsit, who began to go back to film this <clears throat> for another two hours, but only speaking to the camera so he wouldn't disturb the rest of the visitors to the park. If you guys like this video, please like, share, and subscribe. Leave a thumbs up and a comment because it helps me with the algorithm. I also want to give a big thank you to all my channel members. Without you, I couldn't keep the channel going. So thank you very much. 
And with that being said, be well, be safe.